para pa para da da pa po pa oh oh hey Instagram it's me T from the Patterson Signal Train to Tibet just came back from a morning walk usually I walk with the doggy but the doggy disappeared <laughs> let me tell you what happened right it's been raining so much that my my how you say my soft hearted wife wanted to take the dog out of the rain and let him come into the to, to our abode. So he did. Okay, he had a little spot from right there. I wake up this morning, 4.30, whatever it is, and the dog is about my side of the bed. So what the heck? So I, I threw the dog out. I literally threw the dog out the house, right? It was, it was, it was raining just a little bit. Maybe it wasn't raining. Whatever. I threw him out, right? So I guess he got... I, uh, hey, baby, I'm talking. Then, usually... Then, then I got ready where, because you know about was five o'clock, about six o'clock we usually go out to walk. Anyway, so then I'm going out ready to, ready to walk, get dressed and everything like that, and the dog is not around. Okay, fine. You know, he'll show up or she'll show up, whatever whatever she is. Anyway, then my wife gets the idea. Oh, I want to walk with you this morning. Now, last time we walked with the dog, I didn't do a long walk. I didn't do our usual walk. <clears throat> so she comes. She's ready to walk. We start walking, no doggy. So I ended up walking where my wife was showing all the places I usually walk in the morning. She said, this far up? I've never been this blah, 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 blah. I leave my wife alone. She don't, wanna, she, she don't want me to talk about her anyway. Before we left, right, she asked me about, because, you know, I listen, uh, people ask me what I'm doing here, what I'm doing in Africa, what, what I'm doing here. What, how do I spend my time? She says, I don't have to work. I don't have to work. If I don't work, I don't get paid. I don't, da, 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 da. I, and, and I just post like this, and I read, and I, you know, blah, blah, blah. Organize certain whatever I do and travel, all that stuff. Okay, and so people want to know what. I, a lot of times I spend my time. Yeah, I read some stuff. You know, I haven't been reading the way I want because I, I need magazines. I got in another environment. I'll, I'll read more. Anyway, like when I, well, I'll read more. But here I do a lot. I listen to a lot of lectures on 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 the YouTube. You know, I spend a lot of money, get a lot of lectures on the YouTube. Like that. Now, now bricks is happening. So my wife wanted to know what bricks was about. <coughs> So I'm thinking, how do I explain this in such a way that, you know, somebody who's not involved with this kind of world, you know what I mean, they, they'll understand. You know, and she usually does, well, she has me pontificating all the time, but she don't be listening. That's the problem, okay? See, I'll, I'll be saying, oh, so I'll be reacting to this, I'll like, but she don't look, she don't care about that. So now, this time, she got the, the bricks in her head because it's all over. And over. So I said, look, it's like this. What's happening is, from the dawn of whatever, uh, a humankind likes to trade. You got this trinket, I got that trinket, that new trinket. I, I think that trinket would go good. Let me take that trinket home to my wife, that kind of thing, you know what I mean? And you could take this trinket to wherever you want to take it, to your side chick, whatever you want to take it to, okay. So that's the, it's about trade, you know? And then, 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 and then somewhere in a, in, along the line, uh, let's call it the colonizer, had this idea, oh, I can use money to colonize if I could get everybody to convince them that this money, that, that, that I'll, I'll, I'll put forth a money situation, that, and a currency situation, and everybody will go along with it. But since I started it, then I will be in control of it. You see what I mean? I will know what's going on. Okay. Sort of. So as, as, a, as the decades go along, as the centuries go along, they keep on tweaking it to their favor. Because remember, they, they started so they can tweak it to, to their, their favor. Okay. Then the United States of North America comes along, and they have this constitution and all of this other stuff, right? But their idea is like basically uh, now at this particular point, you know, everything is the way it is with the isolationists, you know, be dealing with the rest of the world, all of that stuff. stuff. Then coming around World War One, the, the the original the robber barons, they came up with this idea: Hey, we got the system. This is this is this is after the rock the, the, what's the Rothschilds or whatever. Don't worry about. Let's join the Rothschilds anyway. Well, actually, after the Rothschilds, after had their little thing going already, you know, because they didn't isolated uh, that that group of people from the world. You know, they, you can't, the other people can't handle money. You can't handle. So they got the whole, they got a whole other thing going, right? So now you come to World War One or whatever you come to, and, uh, and and they and they and they keep on scheming, and then they realize, hey, you know, they realized this before. If you have war, then you know you can make a lot of money during war, okay? But what is war? In essence, war is I need these resources over here to do what I need to do over here so that I can do stuff there and then make trinkets that other people will like. Trinkets meaning even guns. You see what I'm saying? Okay. 
So they got that going, right? They realize, oh man, this gun stuff is making a lot of money. This war stuff, we can make a lot of money off war. So they become war mentality, mentality, right? Meanwhile, the rest of the world is trying to, you know, they're trying to plant stuff. They're trying to do all kinds of things other than, you know, remember, the Chinese invented uh, what gunpowder, dynamite, or whatever you want to call it, but then they took that, that, that colonizer to, uh, 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 to, to make that dynamite uh, something that will, you know, blow things up and, 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 and subjugate everybody to their will. See, that, 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 that's basically what, what, what they did, right? Okay, so now as we keep on going on, after World War II, you know, those colonizers are fighting each other, boom, 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 boom. And, uh, and remember, this is right after they done carved up Africa. They get minerals so they can make their, their, their things to boom, boom, boom each other, right? So what happens, they, they, they fight each other for the right to step on, uh, let's call it, uh, you know, black people. I'm just going to say black people. Uh, and uh, so, that, that, so they go along, that's a pretty good scheme because it's easy to identify a black person and the black person in charge of that country, whatever have you. Let's go in there with our munitions, with our, with our uh, uh, fire sticks, and we'll, you know, we'll make them do what we want to do. You see? Okay. We don't go into the enslavement or so leave that stuff alone. Okay, so now you got the, and then somewhere after World War Two, because those those colonizers them beat up on each other, they had nothing left, right? And then uh, the colonizers' cousin, America, <laughs> who has what they have, they they come up and say, hey, we 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 didn't even want to be involved with this, and we weren't, but then we were dragged in, and now we do. We the head honchos. We in charge. So let's make some rules so that we can, you know, really expand our little, you know, uh, ideas. You know, we'll, we'll say we'll say it's this, but we're really are doing that that kind of thing. It's like a magician kind of thing. Okay. So they have this thing called Brent Woods. They have set some rules down, da 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 da. But they basically tweak it because they started it. They tweak it towards their 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 likings, right? Okay. Now, as things go up, now what they didn't, oh, they did, they did, they invented the UN. But this nice story about the UN. The UN, when they first started, right, they had, I think it was in San Francisco, they had a, they, they were in a hotel, club, whatever, but the, 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 the Americans, the Americans, they had the hotel bug, so they knew what all the delegations were saying, so when they did for the UN, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so they, they, they create the UN in for their liking, right? So now you got a UN for their liking, that's for humanitarian, or we want peace, blah, blah, blah. Uh, basically, basically, remember the uh, colonizers speak with forked tongue, so you know whatever they say. Anyway, the point is, they 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 did a big cheese top of the mount from uh, like 1945, 46, 47, 48, uh, all the way up until the 70s when they had to do something because of the whole gold thing. You know, anyway, they had to do something, and then things changed, right? They they, had, they made the petrol, the oil, and all that stuff. Okay, fine. But then somewhere, as the, as the African nations started to get their liberation in the late 50s, early 60s, right, and, and throughout the 60s, right up into the 70s, I guess right beyond that, uh, then, they, uh, then they realized, hey, wait a second, now, this whole idea we got to go through the Americans to get stuff done, this ain't sitting too well with us, right? And so uh, about, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, Couple of couple of those uh, 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 underserved, well, you know, rival nations. They got together and they say, "Hey, look, man, we about trading anyway. This whole war thing, uh, your will with war. Uh, they, they, if you don't want to do what they say, they put a gun to your head and make you do. Ah, uh, we're not into that, right? So they started. It's called BRICS. You know, first it was it was uh, the B R I C S. So first it was like uh, B for Brazil, R for Russia, I for India, and C for China, right? And then they said, oh, wait a second, see what we're doing here, but we know we need an African presence, right? Mm-hmm. Not thinking, not thinking, because they didn't really think this through, because as you know, South Africa is just an appendage. It's a cousin to, 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 to American imperialism. Anyway, so they include South Africa. So now they had an African kind of presence in there, okay? Okay, and plus, there's a number of reasons. It was a good thing. I'm not going to say it was a bad thing, but it, that's what happened. So now they got the BRICS. So South Africa was an appendage. It, it, okay, great. So then, 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 of course, you know, nobody was paying attention to BRICS, da, da, da. Yeah, they, there's, you know, some more nonsense from the, you know, from, from the natives, you know. <laughs> so then what happens, all of a sudden, 
they, this whole trading things, people don't want to do no more war. They understand, hey, this is this is this is interesting. So now you got all the nations say, hey, we want to get off of this, uh, beholden to the money, the money, the the currency people in the states, and also to their war machine. Those two things that it, it, we're gonna not not no, we don't want that anymore. So now you have BRICS. Now here's the thing. Here's the situation. If you look at it like this, America, North North America, right? What they are about. Think of it as a corporation. Okay, I know this whole thing about North America is a corporation. I'm not into that right now. No, I'm not talking about it right now. But it's a corporation. So now you have a nation and you have corporations. A nation corporation. What happened in the states is that the the corporations slowly but slowly whittled away, whittled since the rubber band, whittled away to become the masses of the nations, of the nation. So you, you know, that, that whole thing about uh, a corporation is a person, come on. The United States, a corporation is a person. That's the Supreme Court, uh, we won't get into that right now. But the point is, so now you, now you have the, the rest of the world like China. But people looking at it and saying, wait a second. You mean that the corporations are now head honchos and not the nations are not head honchos? And so you see it clearly with, with China because with that guy, the Alibaba guy the, or the Baba, whoever, the Dali, the, the whatever, uh, with the, with the, that ripped, that, that basically did what the, what an American corporation did but under Chinese rule, anyway, under, under Chinese under Chinese thumb, right? So the Chinese said, hey, you're getting too big, so they cut them down, right? So in other words, the nation could stop the corporation from taking over. But in the United States, what happens is you have these people keep on jumping, their corporations keep on jumping in and becoming basically... Well, becoming a nation, but become a how you say a uh, a master of nations. So now you have a situation where, oh, if I can just uh, start a corporation, I can become a nation, according to the states, according to, according to the states, not according to these other countries, but according to the states, which is kind of interesting. So now what happens is you have a situation where, okay, this the 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 the, the uh, corporations. Let's get rid of them, right? In other words, the nations are trying to get back that that that, that nationhood, and the corporations got to go. You know, you got to take a back seat again. You can't, you can't, you can't hang with us. So that's basically what's happening. Now, here's what's happening. I'm sorry, that's that's the basis of it. But here's what's going on. Now, with BRICS, they have to redefine uh, uh, what do you call that uh, currency and, and how this is going to work or whatever have you. But they still have to react somewhat based on, but some. Uh, 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 an improvement on the current systems, the current economic systems that's running around. That's what they're doing, right? And of course, the United States got their little corporation. I call it called fa fascism going. Okay, fine. So fascism versus whatever, whatever the BRICS nations are trying to come up with. I <laughs> go beyond them. I'm not a respecter of, of certainly not a fascism or, or corporations. I'm not a respecter of nations. I go back to the communities, go back to what we call communalism. I know communism is whatever it is, fashion, whatever, democracy, democ whatever they have. It. But communalism is, is, is before you get to the barter system, you see? Because all the system is based on the barter system. So communalism is where, you know, I talk to my neighbor, blah, 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 we, we come to an agreement, you know, da, da, da. I, 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 I have a nice blue cap that they like the blue cap. They got they a... a, a their wife made a nice knitted cap. I like the knitted, the, the you know, the, the the crocheted cap. I'm a, I, look, I got this knitted cap. Uh, you know, can I change it for the your crochet that we like? That? And then you change. That's that's like a barter, but really is a communalism because the only way I can do that and know they're not being ripped off by knowing that person that I'm talking to and know that he he has a wife that does good work. You know what I mean? He he wants to. No, we're, we're friends. We're neighbors. Okay? We're, we're villagers. We're in the same village. That's how. That's what we got going, right? So, as they come up with this this this, re, this system that's going to react to the capital communist to the fascist system, and try to be a better. As they come up with that, I'm digging beyond that. I'm saying no. We need communalism. So I'm a communalist as well as a Maoist. We won't get into that right now. But so that's what I tried to explain to my wife this morning. Is that whatever they come up with. It's still going to be in the same, the same 
ball belly with the, it's all the same ballpark. You know, somebody's in charge and subjugating the, the, the other people. You have to come up with your own thing. And even, even as they try to subjugate the people, you can say, oh, yeah, I'm with that. But then you're doing your other underlying thing that, you know, you're, you're well and good, you know, growing your own thing, whatever have you. Right? In fact, we got, we, in coming back, because I said we walk without the dog, that dog is jealous because, you know, hey, too bad, tough luck, should have been around when we started walking. Uh, well, in the walk way back, my wife found, uh, she, she's forged all the time, this whole, uh, uh, what do you call it, wild, wild aloe vera? Wild aloe vera. Wild aloe vera, as well as, you also saw some cactus, right? Could make tequila, maybe. No, no, you no, said, no, you no, said no. it's the tequila uh, cactus. No, I don't know if it's the tequila cactus. I just wanted to say that. The point is, right, so she's got the aloe vera. Med this medicine, all, this is grown wild in the field, you know what I mean? So we don't have to worry about anything. Hey, we, we got a little garden right there where, where, where it's been raining. We've been digging it. I see some sprouts coming up. You want to see our garden right out back? Right out there? Let me turn this around. You can see our garden. See, that's our garden. That's, we got to fence it up. We got to do a bunch of stuff with it, but... You know, yeah, I'm prepping it. She's it's, prepping it. It's in prep mode. And also, what we was, we was walking up because we w I had to I had to walk up. It's like it's like taking a hike up the up the hill mountain, uh, like that. And my wife's noticing this bubble. The water's bubbling up through the thing. This is not a bus pipe. This is water bubbling. Said, hey, this is what I've been saying since I got to South Africa. The way to go is boreholes. You get a borehole, you got your water, you're off that water system. Mm -hmm. Only thing that we're wanting for is if you want convenience, it's basically electricity. But, you know, the way things are going right now, electricity mm -hmm. will come to you. So the best, what I'm trying to say, the best thing to do is get out of this. No, no, I can't tell you what to do. But what I've done, I'm, I, I'm, I'm still in, in I'm, well, use the system. Yeah, you got to change the system to your liking. And in the meantime, because that's what, 